Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. We are now on the third floor of the Ice Pyramid, and thank we, we've, thankfully we've cleared all of the monsters so far out. And it's a good thing I did. I'm kind of hurting on magic charges. I can kind of use seeds for that, but I don't know how... I'm going to get away with using it if I do that, because seeds aren't going to show up again until way later, and if I have to get more, I'm going to have to go through the Bone Dungeon, and I'm only going to pick up three if I do that. So, let's go ahead and go through more of the third floor, and take care of some enemies. I'll see you when I get rid of the two that are on screen. Okay, we are back. And I know there's some enemies to the east of me, but there's also some enemies to the west of me. I'm going to go to the east first. And whoa, there's a new enemy over there too. Okay, um, I thought I was going to have to edit that battle out, but unfortunately, uh, that's what happens when you, when, uh, that stony beak attack hits. Whoever gets hit by it is going to be petrified. Again, if both of your characters get petrified, or if you have just one character in your party and they get petrified, game over. And thankfully, he did not hit that attack again. And thankfully, I didn't die either. So let's heal up like... Huh, apparently if you press X, it's an instant uh, shortcut to the save, save menu. I'll have to keep that in mind. I do want to heal up though. I do want to do that. And then go ahead and take on these guys. Gather. Do these guys have... Oh, they, they're weak against the bombs. If you don't kill them in one strike, though, they're more than likely have enough time to inflict massive damage on one of your party members with self-destruct. And that attack is going to hurt. Nice. Good thing I'm strong enough to kill them in droves, at least if there's two of them. I don't know about three, though. And there's yet another new enemy, the Freezer Crab. I'm going to switch to the axe because the Freezer Crab is weak against the axe. And I'm going to have Phoebe go after the Gather. Nice. And there's also Blind Flash, which blinds enemies. I mean, blind your party members. Well, we are the enemies to the gather in this case. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. Ah, arrows. And uh, perhaps it was a good idea I went over there after all, because there is a statue with a switch in it. As for that box, we can just jump over it. So I'm going to go after this uh, this crab with this axe. Be right back. Now to open this chest. Two arrows. And I need to remember to press pause, so that way I can go straight to my menu. Okay. Now to hit the switch with the sword. That will open up that doorway, and apparently we needed to go 
to the east first after all, because how else are we gonna go anywhere on the western path? All right. We are now going to make our way back to the start, and we are now going to take on the Western Path, starting with these guys. You can kind of see the gather there behind the 3F window. Alright. Now to take on another crab and another desert hag. Now we have a door over there. Let's go ahead and go through that first. Whoa! I did not see you coming. Um, hmm. Well, I know what to do here. Hard to get a critical hit with bombs, though. At least I can take one of these two down. And coldness. Huh. And... Silent attack, obviously not working there. It seems that Phoebe still has a lot better magic defense than Benjamin does. Which is a shame. Really gotta be careful. Can I did not want to do that. But at least there were 10 more explosives. Which is a shame because I constantly have to watch Benjamin's health. Thankfully, he hasn't had hasn't really taken a lot of damage. Hey, We are now level 17 with Benjamin! So at least he's getting a little stronger as we're getting through here. And here's that door. But wait. There's a hidden passage. Kinda. Somewhere. I think. Ah, I see where it is now. You gotta go through here. But there's another one through there. Hmm. How do I get in there? Let me check the map. I have to do it through the... Okay. I would have to go all the way through there. Well, it's a good thing I cleared out the... monsters here. So that... And hit all the switches, too. That's a thing. So, I can finally just go... To where I need to go. But that will include having to go all the way back down through the first floor just to get to where I need to go. So, I'll see you when I see you there. All right, we're back over there. I had to go as far left as I could, or far west as I could on the first floor and then go south from there. And we need to go through this doorway. This will take us to three more enemies and I could have fought all of these things earlier. Oh well, I'll go ahead and clear them out. Be right back. Alright, time to see what is in these two boxes. Heal potions and arrows. Well, I'll join you back at the third floor. Okay, we are now on our way to the fourth floor. And we got work to do. There is a little bit of a hidden passage here that will allow us to get to that door, but we can't really seem to open it yet. We got a mage over to the west. We got nothing going on down here. We got plenty of sphinxes and plenty of those squid enemies and it looks like we're gonna have to fight these guys in order to get anywhere after that we need to make our way south tons of enemies here great Guga Muga.
But there's a Sphinx. But how do we get down there? It looks like we're going to have to do a thing in order to get down to the fourth floor, it appears. I will have to check. If I don't get destroyed first... Huh. Apparently, confusion did not take hold on either party member. That's great. Time to go ahead and take these guys down. I'm going to have to get a lot of supplies when this go around through the ice pyramid is over. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out how to drop down somewhere. This is weird. Hmm. Yeah, those little areas that we saw that we couldn't access with all those huge pits. You may have been seeing them in the center of every floor. Those things seem to provide some sort of clue. So it looks like we're going to have to make our way to the fifth floor. Now, we have some pits here. If we drop down right north of the staircase, we'll be in that center area. Which is exactly what we needed. Heal potions, arrows. Oh, this is not going to be fun at all, is it? I got ten whole enemies to deal with. Well, it's a good thing I'm healing up on things as soon as I get to the end. If I get to the end. Ugh. I'll see you when I take care of all these enemies. Note to self, blindness lasts between battles. Also, now that I found out that X lets me go straight to the save menu, apparently pressing the start button makes no sense to me. Neither is pressing A. So let's go ahead and try to figure out what's in these boxes, arrows, refreshers, great. Cure potions. Oh, I need to check those things as well. Some more stuff. Arrows. More arrows. I'm pretty sure there were heal potions in one of those boxes to the left. Oh, it was cure potions. Even though I have a zillion of them. And of course, hitting that statue will open up that area that we couldn't get to. And we also have this chest, which gives us the noble armor. This will supersede the seal armor. We now have better armor for Benjamin, and it protects him against poison and water attacks, which is really, really good. Do I have to save stuff for him? No, I don't. It's only for the allies. Had to make sure. Finally took care of that. Also, I really need to learn how to fight. Because I am nearly out of explosives and I've been too reliant on all of those. And it's just really going through all my supplies and it really, really stinks. However, if I go to the west here, I can get 20 more. So I want to go ahead and do that. Oh, great. Great! I have to use a bomb in order to do damage against any of these things in particular. Beautiful. And now these things are going to hit me with Riddle again. Oh, good. They both went for, went for one person. Excellent. And I miss with the axe. Because that makes total sense. Well, at least Phoebe isn't confused anymore. Oh, that still wasn't enough. Great. I really need to learn how to fight. 
but at least here we can just jump over that first box open both of these get the get the 20 explosives went through those boxes way too fast I apologize but yes there are explosives there just thought you wanted to know now we do need to be careful thankfully we can always tap the directions on the control pad to go one tile at a time which is something that we need to do because it is way too easy to fall down around here and now it's time to take care of these three enemies alright we're back now there is a crack in the center of this little area here we're not gonna mess around with it quite yet instead we're just going to carefully make our way over here and get ten more explosives so now we're doing a lot better as far as explosives are involved I wish I could say the same for other things like seeds now there is a way to get over here but in order to do that we would have to be able to hit a switch and we got three more cure potions and we got another crab that we can beat up so let's go ahead and beat him up and I guess I might as well just go ahead and stick with the axe for this battle never really got this configuration of enemies before not while I've been here also pseudopod packs a punch also I forgot to mention that the gathers can also paralyze you with one of their attacks as well and I didn't have that in my notes either now in order to get over there we would have to do a thing and that thing involves using one of our bombs to blow this up we step on this area and we keep falling in the pits until we reach the basement. Um, oh, you just hit any of these switches and, you, and you'll be able to drop down here. Ooh boy, what did we get ourselves into? Well, I might as well go ahead and open up the chest before I do anything else. Three heal potions. 10 arrows, 3 Q potions, and the Night Sword! Well, we might as well go ahead and use this weapon just in case because, hey, you never know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of these guys. Oh, and by the way, the uh, Night Sword will replace the Steel Sword, so we don't have to worry about using that ever again. Hey, we are now level 18 with Benjamin. I have a lot of hit points by the time, or a lot of experience by the time this is over, really. I don't think I'm going to level up again, but yeah, probably not. We have finally cleared out all those enemies, and I'm glad we did, really, because this was annoying. Ugh. Okay, um, no, I don't want to go up there. That's not going to happen. We are not doing that. And we can't really seem to go anywhere over there either. Hmm. Apparently this is considered a lower level by some means. Ah, okay. We gotta go down here in order to meet with that Lamia. We'll be dealing with that big, huge breathing thing in due time. By the way, at this point in the game, the Night Sword rules! 
I'm not even kidding. I can take down Lamia's in one hit with it. Ah, uh, you guys. And we're back. <coughs> now. We need to get the claw equipped. Hold A and climb up this and... There's always one. Okay. Now that we are done with that Sphinx, there really shouldn't be any enemies to deal with. However, we should hit that. There we go. Really? I have to do that? Are you kidding me? Uh, what's in those boxes? Oh yeah, there's just arrows in both of them. Not really sure if that would be really useful. I got plenty of arrows for what I want to do. But I do want to go in here. And... Huh. Interesting. He's also up there, too. Very interesting. Why is why are there two of them? Do we have two bosses? Don't tell me there are two bosses. Also, does this blowing this up do anything? No. It does not, but we can blow up the other ones. Hmm. Blowing the, those things up does absolutely nothing. I know. If we were to go over there... Would that do anything? No, that's just a wall. Okay. Had to be sure. Anyway. Let's see what happens if we meet the first one that we've come across. I want to heal up a little bit. And also get a seed in on both of my characters. Oh, and I should probably get rid of blindness on Benjamin. That would be a great idea, too. <laughs> I'm enjoying our little game. Oh. Well, that's why you disappear. Well, this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and make our way back up there. Almost messed getting over there up and now we need to make our way to the north carefully making sure we don't fall into any pits although I do wonder nah I don't really need the arrows I'm not even going to try to jump down there and yeah, I might as well just go ahead and do one more for Phoebe. Why not? You think you're a knight, huh? <laughs> Take this! And it is now boss time against the Ice Golem. This guy is weak to fire, and you want to use it as much as you can. Be ready to have some heal potions on, up for good use, because he will put you to sleep. Also, he can replenish his health with Snowstorm, so you want to be able to keep casting fire as much as you possibly can. It's just a matter of how many charges I'm going to need to use and whether or not I'm going to need to heal. Thankfully, both of our characters are now strong against ice, ice and water attacks. 
while he's weak to fire. So anything that he can throw at us probably won't do a whole lot of good. I, su I would suggest be being ready to heal just in case. Because this is going to get down right nasty, just like how Ice Golem is looking now. And of course he has those physical attacks, so you do want to be ready for those. Because those are going to deal more damage than his uh, elemental attacks. Believe you me. And of course Phoebe is going to be doing more enemies, more damage to enemies with her magic. And Ice Golem is definitely no exception to this. I'm going to go ahead and cure her. I, I'm i under the belief that having your HP under 200 is not a good idea. Also it's called the Stomp Stomp, that one attack is. That's pretty hilarious to say the least. It's like the the, or talk talk. I recommend listening to It's My Life. It's a great Talk Talk song. And there's Snowstorm, which he used to recover only 200 HP. Um, okay, you keep going with fire. You cure yourself, because you're pretty much in the danger zone anyway. Oh yeah, he's melting like a snowman in July. Do you ever see snowman in July? I know it can snow in Sweden in June. What am I doing? Fire. Yeah, like that's really going to work. Wow. Um, if, if he doesn't die on this turn, yeah, I'm healing. That's incredible. Cure and cure. Because that's ridiculous. Okay. Back to fire. And if this guy can stop healing himself and Hitting both of us with Snowstorm, that would be great. But he was getting desperate, though, right before the end. Only 246 experience. Eh. Well, for beating the Ice Golem, we can now save the Water Crystal at last, which means Aquari is now safe. Nothing around here is iced over. And we do want to get that chest when... we leave. The crystal! I'll go back to Aquarium and see if the ice melted. Don't forget to see Grandpa! Right. Bye. Well, it's not like we're gonna need Phoebe for the rest of the uh, trek that we're down here because, well, we killed off all the enemies. And we do want to open this chest, as I said earlier, because that gives us the river coin. And what happens if I drop down? Okay. Well, now that I, I wanted to get the uh, to get the things in there, but well, perhaps I still can. Well, it's a good thing I opened that box anyway because I needed the explosives anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and go back up there and get the explosives. That way, I don't have to uh, worry about grabbing any more things after I backtrack. Because that would be good. So this has been one heck of a dungeon, I tell you what. Had to use both of my seeds. The two seeds that I had left. But that's alright. I can always go back to the dungeon and get three more. And I can always go over here get the explosives and just make our way back down the ice cavern 
or the ice pyramid rather. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it off right here. I'll join you when I'm outside of the ice pyramid with everything restocked on because I'm going to need to have stuff restocked on. And I'll show you what happens next in the story. So join me next time where I continue on with the storyline and see where our journey takes us. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!